how did I become a graphic designer? The simple answer is that my art tutor told me I was a graphic designer. He looked at all my school books. He saw that I wrote every music band that I liked in the right typeface. Um, that I wrote lessons like mathematics in 15 different typefaces on the front of the school book. So music really was the, the way that I got into graphic design. That relationship between the way the music had this magical effect on it and how an artist expressed the music. And the best example of that was the record cover. And if the record cover worked, something magical happened. Uh, it made your experience of listening to the music better. If the typography was right, it made you love the music more. The interesting thing on working on music, and in particular with David Bowie, is the, not uh, just the music, but the expectations of the audience. Now, they expect something very different from him. But also there's part of the audience that expect you to play a certain game of a, a new image, and we were never quite prepared um, to do that. We wanted to challenge the audience, and I think we, we did um, in the last few album cover designs. They certainly um, caused a lot of discussion and debate because we didn't give people what they wanted, and that was very healthy. So many projects graphic designers are presented with are without meaning or d don't directly to relate to your own life. So with political work, um, it's a chance to bring that meaning into design and make it feel a we are worthwhile human beings. Uh, some of the organisations I've worked with are, well, the first was Adbusters, an anti-advertising organisation based in Canada. We worked on a lot of anti-advertising, subvertising. Uh, the other organisation was Occupy London, part of the Occupy movement that happened a few years ago. Uh, we worked on their logo and it really was um, a chance to act very directly and very quickly, and that's what I think designers should do. And also very simply, it's not that you put a poster on a wall and suddenly the world changes. You're just one voice of, of many, and you have to help facilitate change. Enough small voices make a big voice, and that tips opinion over into the political mainstream and become a large political voice, and that's when that, that change happens. I've been a graphic designer a long time, since 1990. And uh, I've seen a lot of technological changes. There was no digital when I first started designing. But that kind of change is natural. If you look back to the invention of the printing press, you know, suddenly language and typography changed completely. So I do believe that it's very important to understand and work with these pieces of technology and to use them for their, for their particular constraints. The parameters of design do not change. You understand your media, you uh, understand the message, and you understand the audience. Personally, the, the thing that interests me about the digital so much is this, the cheapness of it, in that you can produce anything and have it distributed to thousands of people very, very quickly. And for whether that's working for music in a very emotional, uh, non-logical way, or working in politics in that you want to disseminate an image, a meme, a message, uh, I think that's, uh, it's really, really great for that. This isn't a job like anything creative or anything you care about. It isn't just a, a job. You have to live it. You have to be authentic. If you say something in your work, you should believe it. If you're not interested in the subject matter for what you're designing for, it will show. Being a designer is about telling the truth uh, about the way you feel about the world uh, and your interests. And that's why people come to you. Uh, they come to you because of your unique interpretation of the world and how you put that in a form that everybody else can understand.